small community making a big noise. Residents, students, faculty, and fans all lying the streets as the women who brought California University a national championship were honored, riding the parade route in fire trucks. A chance for the campus, which has faced its share of tough times, to celebrate the positive aspects of athletics. More of our athletes are like this team here than not. And so this is a good way to bring some positive uh, recognition to the university and to our athletic team. The women on this team managed to turn the ultimate tragedy, the passing of teammate Shanice Clark from a blood cell disorder, into the ultimate triumph, a national championship. Even amid the enthusiastic celebration, Clark's posthumous contributions were recognized. There were some times during this week that we probably shouldn't have won those games, and she showed herself, and I know she's there. So we all love you, Shanice, and uh, we're thinking about you. We're here getting all the accolades and, and whatever, but we'll never forget what really drove us to that. And I think that story will be passed down from team to team. Now that these women have brought home the national championship hardware, they have their eyes on an even bigger prize, a championship statue, like this one built for the last title team back in 2004. Ask the president. I asked her as soon as we won, so I had her when she was super excited, and she said yes. So we'll have to see what we're going to do for it. But we're supposedly getting one. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we'll be somewhere. Well, President Jones tells me a fundraising effort will take place in order to build that championship statue, and details are forthcoming. And yes, the Vulcans and their fans are already talking about a repeat. Andrew Stocky, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.